got you coming up down the line, but I just want to talk to you personally. You know we comrades in the game, and we know some of the same people. But I happen to know a couple of other people that they used, that y'all ain't used to seeing, that got a potent message. Is that not true? It's not always about the average, the ordinary, and the normal. Please don't mistake what I'm saying. And my colleagues know I mean no disrespect to them. But if we truly going to change this, it's going to take some implementation of figures that y'all ain't used to seeing. That's right. That's right. Because some of the younger generation, unfortunately, they don't have the knowledge of these prestigious individuals. And some of them don't even have the attention span for them to get going. So you got to come out like my brother Brian, like a what? Right. That's right. Lord, have mercy. Let me bring to the microphone. This is one of my white compadres, my comrades. See, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I really don't care what color your skin is. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. As long as you down for what I'm down with. Yeah. All right. And I'm getting ready to bring to the mic right now Tim Fraser, which is the organizer for More Monday, who is the majority. Who is the majority white folks in that? And I love every single one of them because one thing is true. If they say they gonna be there, they gonna be there. And if they say they gonna do it, they gonna do it times two and two folks. I'm here for a few reasons. Uh, first and foremost, because Marcus asked me to. And there's some folks that just, when they ask me to do it, I just show up. And uh, I didn't have to research this case, I already knew it. All right. And you know, you don't have to be Sherlock Holmes to know that there was foul play. Yeah. Yeah. Scooby Doo could have solved this case. Yeah. 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 So let me tell you the other reason why I'm here today. And it's something that y'all already know. And it's something that's not comfortable to say out loud. But I know that if Kendrick Johnson looked like me, yes. we wouldn't be here. And we, there's not a lot of white faces here, but it's our obligation to confront racism in white spaces. We gotta be able to do it. We gotta be able to do it. And we gotta be able to admit those things that are, that are tough to admit. Uh, the other reason that I'm here is that today we're commemorating Martin Luther King and folks have talked about 1968, April 4th. Well, there's a date that means a lot to me and that's April 4th, 1967. Martin Luther King uh, gave a speech that uh, helped me as an organizer cross a bridge to work on economic issues to see the connection between racism, militarism, and poverty, which he called the triplets of evil. And these systems of violence and oppression work to control our communities, our minds, even our bodies in ways that we still don't understand. And they keep our communities separate. And there are folks at the top that benefit from keeping us separate. Poor whites, blacks, brown, gay, straight, old, young. They profit from keeping our communities separate. And so it's up to us. What Moral Monday is all about is bringing us all together and realizing that we're all oppressed by these systems of violence and oppression, and it's a spectrum of harm that's done to our communities. And as white people, we have to acknowledge that on that spectrum of harm, we are victimized far less than other communities, communities opposed. And I'm saying things that, things that y'all already know. Uh, so I encourage folks to, to look at the Moral Monday movement. We need to challenge racism in the state of Georgia. Yeah. So there's not another Kendrick Johnson family. Thank you for asking me to be here.